Hello everyone, we are going to start our server with dynamic information with handlebars. First of all, you need to initiate your package JSON with npm init and why. But I already did it and after that you need to install express and express handle bars. Okay, with this you need to create or we are going to create our directory. First of all, we need to use as you see they are installed. We need to use the views and inside of views and inside of views we need to use the layouts and in views in layouts we we need well we need the handle bars this will be our first or page main paint that we will insert the information how we can insert the information we will see in a moment after that we need to create the views the home dot handle bars um, the about dot handle bars the 100 and 100 dot handle bars and the fortune because we will create um <laughs> A page that will give you your fortune. It will be nice. Well, on home, welcome fortune, fortune is one. about okay then we need to start our server first of all we need to call the express it's equal to require because we are in node.js express and after that we need to create our app oops that it's the same express but using as a function then we need to use our port will be process dot n dot port <laughs> then we need to create handle handle function in this case and we need to require express handlebars. After that, we need to start the war server. But first of all, we need the engine and will be handlebars and handle F. Inside of this, we can specify the layout directory in this case we will use the main the main is this the layout on the main after that we need to set the engine in this case will be view engine and handlebars because we will use handlebars and with this we can start our pages with first of all the home Uh, request and response because all the get needs the first parameter is the and string that will will request and the response will render exactly render then home for the view 
will will this will render the home handle and this will can create with in this case the about um, about and the fortune fortune and it's okay but for the 400 down for we need to use the same request and response but in this case of using get we will use will will we we will use use <laughs> response status and specify the status response render the okay if everything is okay we will need to listen our server on the port server is on well, I really love the tactics because they are really useful port. okay we got it um <sighs> To create a dynamic data with this is dynamic because it's printed on the main layout. But for our fortune page, we will create or we are going to create our library, let directory, and inside we will create our library.js. And it will be a little easy because we will grab all our fortunes in here. Oops, Let's import them. Something like that. But to export this library or this fortunes, we need to use the exports dot fortune, and it will be a function, an arrow function that will return in this case the fortune, but with map to the floor. Random to create the random um, fortunes friend of one plus two. The random number for um, will multiply the fortunes. The complete length of the fortunes and we'll add the zero because we'll be zero to this okay. um, that's all to be more consistent we can do it like this um, like this okay if we are going well we can start doing or <laughs> sharing our fortune to this render. How we can share our fortune to our fortune page? First of all, we need to call the fortune 
will be required we will call our library and inside of them our library or because it's a function we need to call it like this okay and with this we can see if everything is okay running our server GS um, oops or 3000 sorry for that it's for the port okay got it um, um, handlebars use large outs and handlebars it's not No such a file and directory. It's not finding. Oops. It's not finding our main handlebars. But why? Oh, sorry. Okay, got it. It could be, it has to be the file layout. Okay, welcome. The next case is about. Um, cool, not fun, cool, everything is great. And uh, what about the fortune? It's everyone, but what happened? We need to. We share our the data with this in this handlebar page for information but first of all we need to use the handlebar if conditional and it's this yeah it it's this if, let me check if everything is okay and if it, it has fortune we will use it Oops. Block words. Okay, got it. Um, fortune. And um, if everything is okay, we will see our. Okay, got it. We have our dynamic information with this because we are sharing in our fortune page or data the fortune that is this fortune but what is this fortune? this fortune is our arrow function that returns our fortunes and select randomly one of these fortunes but this is great, but what happens if I refresh? It's changing and it's good because every time we refresh our page, our page, we will see diff uh, one, well, one or one different um, fortune, um, and it's great every time, every time. And it's working really great. Thank you for watching or, and thank you for reading my articles. This will help you and this is another step for using Express and Handlebars. Thank you so much and see you in the next time.